Hi everyone, we're back today with Catherine Zizov, who recently competed in the Wharton School among two other entrepreneurs on November 27th for a live episode of The Pitch, and her company, Strella Biotech, actually won. Congratulations on winning The Pitch, Catherine. Uh, how was that experience for you? Thank you so much. Uh, it was extremely exciting. I've never pitched in front of so many different people before. Uh, typically when I pitch, it's just a couple of judges and me in a room together. Um, so that was extremely exciting. Um, I'm also really grateful to the opportunity that it provided me because uh, now I'm in talks with uh, some of the judges in regards to a future investment opportunity. Um, and I also get a ton of exposure uh, because the pitch is so well known. Could you help us understand a little bit more about Strella Biotech and your business model? Sure. Uh, so we work to optimize the food supply chain um, via technology. So more specifically, we make biosensing platforms that can predict the ripeness of fruits. Um, and we use this to allow packers and distributors to know which fruit to send on the supply chain first. Um, so Briefly, the way the technology works is um, if you've ever put an unripe banana next to a ripe one, uh, you probably notice that the unripe banana ripens a lot faster than if it was by itself. And that's because fruits communicate with each other and specifically their ripeness to other fruits using this particular gas called ethylene. And so we measure this gas in our sensor. Um, and we actually use the exact mechanism in fruits uh, to sense this gas. And so as a result, what we're doing is we're kind of hacking a fruit uh, for our technology. <laughs> That's super cool. How did you get inspired into getting into the area of food waste and why apples? Yeah, so actually I didn't have much um, knowledge prior to starting this company um, in terms of ag. I've always worked in biomedical labs. Um, but in the summer, I read a paper about how 40% of all fresh produce is wasted before it's consumed, and I thought that's a ridiculous number and we can definitely work to optimize it. And so I decided why not use my knowledge uh, to develop a technology and solve that problem. Um, and the reason that I chose apples is because everyone eats apples. It's such a big market in the United States. Um, and apples actually are stored for a really, really long time. So an apple is typically stored for eight months to a year and a half before it ever hits the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. So there's obviously a lot of food waste that goes into storing a fruit for that long. Could you speak to the combination of biotech between, basically, the combination between bio and business, how did you choose to major in bio and, my, and do engineering entre entrepreneurship as well, and was it challenging for you? Yeah, so I think those two are a great combination um, because typically when you're a biology major or a science major, you have two options. The first one is to go into kind of the academic field, the academic realm, work at a university or um, a publicly funded lab. Um, or the alternative is to work in industry developing, um, you know, drugs or pharmaceuticals for a really large company. So as a result, um, I thought, well, I don't really want to do it either of those, <laughs> so I'm going to start my own thing and um, go from there. And definitely engineering entrepreneurship has really helped with that aspect. What would you like others, particularly students in high school, to know about this path? Uh, it's a little scary, but you get total freedom. Um, so if there's something that you're really passionate about, uh, you can go out, do it yourself, and not necessarily follow anybody else's rules. Yeah. Catherine, what's in the future for Strela Biotech? Uh, well, in the future, I hope to bring more exposure to the field of agriculture. I think um, it's a huge uh, field, and as the population grows, there's a lot of issues that are, you know, popping up that need to be solved, and it's something that people don't typically think of, even though we eat food every day. Um, so I definitely want to continue working in this field and continue to develop new technologies and solutions uh, for the future. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. Thank you. For more insight from Knowledge at Wharton, please visit knowledge.wharton.upenn.edu.